the respective ratio of the present age of a mother and daughter is 7 ratio 1. 4 years ago, the respective ratio of their age was 19 ratio 1. What will be the mother's age 4 years from now? We are supposed to know mother's age 4 years from now. So given options are mother's age after 4 years, yes or no, mother's age after 4 years. Now even now this question can be done using option verification. If you want to verify option verification, first you need to know what is the option. We came to know that options are nothing but mother's age after 4 years. Now what is given in the question? In the question it is said present age of mother daughter is 7 ratio 1. Which means present age of mother should be multiple of 7. Yes, mother's present age should be multiple of 7. If I need to know mother's present age means I need to subtract 4. Why means these ages are after 4 years. After 4 years, these are ages of mother. If I need to know present age means I have to subtract 4. Now subtract 42 minus 4, it is going to be 38. Is 38 multiple of 7? No. So this is wrong answer. Next, 38 minus 4, that is going to be 34. Is 34 multiple of 7? No. Wrong answer. Next, 46 minus 4, it is going to be 42. Yes. Is 42 multiple of 7? Yes. 42 is multiple of 7. So this can be our answer. Next, 36 minus 4, it is going to be 32. Yes. Now is 32 multiple of 7? No. So this is wrong answer. So I can simply say answer for this question is going to be 46. And look here, these are the exact questions, exact options that came in examination. Now, so many students, they will think like options are framed in such a manner where it is going to be a multiple. No, it's not framed by me. These are the exact questions that came in examination. If you want, even you can try, you can open the book and you can try questions, whatever that came in ages. 95% of questions definitely you can solve just by looking at the question itself. Yes, it's true. If you want, you can try it. Is it clear? You can try it, then you will come to know you, whether you are able to solve these questions without using your pen and paper or not. Okay? So answer for this question is nothing but 46 years. Very, very simple. Let us look at one more question. And one more important thing, if you like this video, click on the like button and try to share this video with as many friends as possible. So that it will be very supportive for us and it will be very boost up for us also. So that we will be coming across with best content which is going to be helpful for you in competitive exams. Okay? Don't forget to share with all your friends who are preparing for competitive exams. Next one. Average age of A, B, C is 10 years less than age of C. If ratio of age of A, B, C is 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. Look here. Here ratio of age it was mentioned. But whether it is present age or whether it is after 5 years or whether it is 3 years ago, nothing was mentioned. If nothing was mentioned, you are supposed to take it as present age only. Is it clear? Very important point. If nothing was mentioned, you are supposed to take present age only. Present age ratio of ABC is 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. We are supposed to know what is the sum of age of A and C. So we are supposed to know sum of ages of AC. Sum of ages of AC. Now observe carefully. In the question, ABC age ratio was mentioned. Yes. What is ABC age ratio? ABC age ratio is 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. Yes or no? 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. We are supposed to find sum of ages of AC. Which means sum of present ages of AC. Nothing was mentioned means present age. Now observe it carefully. Present age of A should be multiple of 3. Present age of C should be multiple of 5. Sum means 3 plus 5. That is going to be 8 parts. 8 parts means our answer should be multiple of 8. Yes or no? Our answer should be multiple of 8. Let us check. 80 is multiple of 8. 72 is multiple of 8. 85 is not multiple of 8. 78 is not multiple of 8. Which means out of 4 options, 2 options are eliminated. And we are left with 2 more options. Yes? Now read the information whatever that you have extra in the question. We have some more information. If you observe in the question it is clearly said average age of ABC average age of ABC is 10 years less than age of C. Look average age of ABC is 10 years less than age of C. Now observe carefully. If you observe carefully average age of ABC means 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. These are nothing but 
ages ratio which means average of 3 4 5 is what 3 4 5 average is nothing but 4 which means middle term why means 3 4 5 are in arithmetic progression when the given series is in arithmetic progression average is nothing but middle term so middle term means 4 which means average age of abc is going to be 4 parts and age of c is going to be 5 parts and in the question it is clearly said that average age of abc is 10 years 10 years less than age of c so 10 years less than age of c means difference between average and age of c is going to be 10 years yes or no now observe carefully we know that average of abc in terms of parts it is four parts c's age in terms of parts five parts difference between these two is going to be one part so one part equal to 10 years if one part is 10 years we are supposed to know sum of ages of ac sum of ages of ac is eight parts so eight into ten we can say answer is going to be 80 years so 72 is also eliminated is it clear very very simple just a fraction of seconds everything is given in the question itself and this one also exact question that came in examination you will have complete information in the question itself but you are supposed to be in a position to understand the question carefully and collect the key point that was mentioned in the question if you're able to collect the key points that is mentioned in the question then obviously you can solve these questions in fraction of seconds without using your pen and paper average of three four five i can say average of three four five is nothing but four which means average is four and C age is five parts four parts five parts difference is one part in the question it is clearly said that average of abc is 10 years less than age of c which means difference in terms of years is 10 years difference in terms of parts is one part so one part is 10 years we are supposed to know age of ac together age of ac is nothing but total eight parts eight parts means eight into ten eight years just a fraction of seconds always you have to be smart and unique you have to be smart and unique once if you are smart and unique then you can save lot of time in examination when thousands lakhs of students are writing examination then why only you need to get the job just think of that why you need to get the job means then definitely you have to work hard you have to be unique you have to be smart you have to spend lot of time for the purpose of practice you have to come across with many innovative thinkings which is going to helpful for you in examination when you are doing lot of hard work lot of smart work if you are going to do all of this then only you are going to get success why means we know that there is a huge competition any exam whatever the examination you are going to write there is a huge competition in this huge competition if you are going to be one out of those selected students means definitely your hard work your smart work your guidance and how well you are practicing what are the approaches how much time you are spending how much time you are spending for questions how much time you are spending every day all these are going to play a vital role whoever is going to work hard work smart and they are going to practice regularly only for them success is going to come in this competition why means there is a huge competition for competitive exams yes or no let us look at the next question Shushil got married six years ago his age is seven by six times of his age at the time of his marriage three years ago his son was three years old the ratio of his son and Sushil at present so we are supposed to know present age ratio of Sushil's son and Sushil okay so we are supposed to know Sushil's son and Sushil age ratio this is very very simple question even in this question also complete information is given in the question itself but most of the students they don't understand the question carefully that is reason competitive examination it's all about reading the question carefully understand the question carefully once if you are able to understand question and if you are able to collect the key points then it's very simple to mark the answer look here it is very clearly said that Sushil got married six years ago so six years ago Sushil got married his age is seven by six times of his age at the time of his marriage which means it is said that present age of Sushil is 7 by 6 times of his age at the time of marriage which means which means this is present age yes or no this is present age and this is at the time of marriage 
percentage of sushil is seven parts and age of sushil at the time of marriage is six parts now difference between these two is going to be how many parts one part yes or no difference between these two is one part and it's very clear that sushil got married six years ago which means age difference in terms of parts is one part age difference in terms of years is six years so one part is equal to six years if one part is six years then i can say present age of sushil is going to be seven parts seven parts means seven into six that is going to be 42 years so sushil present age is 42 years i need to know son present age in the question it is clearly said three years ago his son was three years old three years ago his son was three years old means three years back three years then what is the present age three plus three it is going to be six years yes or no let us say three years back my age is 24 years if three years back my age 24 means now it is going to be 24 plus 3 27 similarly here also three years back son's age is three years now will be what is the age means three plus three six years now calculate the ratio if you calculate the ratio what happened six cancels here one time six cancels here seven times so ratio is going to be one ratio seven just a fraction of second complete information is given in the question itself so it's very clearly mentioned that what is his age present and what is the age when he was got married ratio was mentioned very clearly ratio was seven ratio six and it is very clearly said that he got married six years back which means difference in terms of parts is one part difference in terms of years is six years one part is six years if one part is six years we are supposed to know present is a social present is seven parts seven into six 42 years so social age present is 42 years social son age is nothing but six years six ratio 42 which is same as one ratio seven okay complete information given in the question now without understanding the question what many students will do they'll go on doing the rough work no you are not supposed to do that understanding the question is very very important understand the question if you're able to understand the question then obviously getting the answer is very easy without understanding the question then how you are going to solve the question you have to understand the question read the question carefully understand the question what is given in the question you have to understand this once if you are able to understand the information that is given in the question then obviously solving questions will be very very simple okay let's look at one more question sunita's age is one by sixth of her father's age which means sunita's age will be one by sixth of her father's present age so nothing was mentioned means here the information is about the present ages okay next her father's age will be twice the uh, twice of varun's age after 10 years after 10 years her father's age will be twice of varun's age it seems if varun's eighth birthday was celebrated two years ago very important point varun's eighth birthday was celebrated two years ago then what is sunita's present age so we are supposed to know sunita's present age observe carefully in this question, if you need to find Sunita's age means, first you need to know father's age. If you need to know father's age means, first you need to know Varun's age. Once if you know Varun's age, based upon Varun's age, you can say father's age. Once if you know father's age, then automatically you can say Sunita's age. Yes. First of all, try to know what is Varun's age. It is very clearly said, Varun's eighth birthday was celebrated two years ago. Which means, two years ago, Varun celebrated eighth birthday means, Varun's age was 8 years when 2 years ago. 2 years ago, 8 years means present. It should be 8 plus 2, 10 years. Yes. Which means Varun's present age is going to be 10 years. Okay. Varun's present age. Actually, this question can be done orally without using pen and paper. But as you guys need to understand, that is the reason I am using pen and paper. Okay. So, Varun's present age is going to be 10 years. Now, what it is said in the question, her father's age will be twice of Varun's age after 10 years. Now, present age is 10 years means, Varun's present age 10 years means, after 10 years, after 10 years, Varun's age will be how much? 10 plus 10, 20. Yes. If Varun's age is 20 means, father's age should be double. So, father's age should double means, 20 double that is going to be 40, which means father's age is going to be 40 years after 10 years but we are supposed to know what is sunita's present age if i need to know what is sunita's present age means first of all i need to know what is father's present age father's age after 10 years is 40 
After 10 years, 40 means percentage of father is going to be 30. Percentage of father 30 means it is very clearly said that Sunita's age is 1 by 6th of father. So 1 by 6th of father means 1 by 6 into father's age is going to be 30. So 30 cancels in 6. How many times? 5 times. So we can say Sunita's present age is going to be 5 years. Is that clear? Very, very simple. And truly really speaking, all this information we need not write. But as I was explaining you, each and every student should be clear. That is the reason I have written very clearly. But this question can be done orally. If Varun celebrated his 8th birthday 2 years back means Varun's present day is going to be 10 years. If Varun's present day is 10 years means after 10 years Varun's age will be 20 years. And it's very clear that father's age is going to be twice of Varun's age after 10 years. So 20 double will be 40. So father's age is going to be 40 years when after 10 years. After 10 years 40 means present it is going to be 30 years. Father's present is 30 years. If father's present is 30 years, Sunita's age is 1 by 6 of father. So 1 by 6 of 30. 1 by 6 of 30 means 5. Which means Sunita's present is going to be 5 years. Is that clear? Very, very simple question. So let us look at one more question. The sum of ages of 5 children born at the regular intervals of 3 years each is 50 years. Find out the age of youngest child. So we are supposed to find the age of youngest child actually this question is also very simple question you can just mark the question in fraction of seconds but what most of the students will do is like they will uh, as they does not know when the smallest child was born they will take the smallest child as x after every three years new child born yes or no so first child x means next child it will be x plus 3 next child it will be x plus 6 next child it will be x plus 9 Next child, it will be x plus 12. Yes or no? Total how many children? 5 children. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total 5 children. Every 3 years, every 3 years, new child born. First child x years means next child x plus 3 years. Next child x plus 6 years. Next child x plus 9 years. Next child x plus 12 years. Yes or no? Now, what they are saying, sum of their ages, sum of their ages is going to be how much? Sum of their ages is nothing but 50 years. Now, what many students will do? They will do sum and they will equal it to 50 and they will find the value of x and then they will say what is the age of youngest child yes or no then they will say what is the age of the youngest child yes but truly really speaking if you are going to do this in examination it is going to waste lot of time in examination yes or no if you are really smart it is very clear that sum is 50 yes or no sum is 50 if sum is 50 what is average average of 5 children is going to be 50 by 5 that is going to be 10 years yes or no which means average of 5 children is nothing but 10 years it is very clear that x x plus 3 x plus 6 x plus 9 x plus 12 this is in arithmetic progression yes or no as the given series is in arithmetic progression average is nothing but middle term middle term is nothing but x plus 6 so x plus 6 is nothing but 10 if x plus 6 is 10 then what is the value of x value of x is nothing but 4 years yes or no so you can directly say answer is going to be 4 years you need not calculate it you need not elaborate it nothing is required commentative exams no one will check your rough sheet how much paperwork we, we you have done will anyone check it no one will check it after completion of your examination you will throw it in the dustbin so always you have to avoid paperwork if you have to avoid paperwork means definitely you have to be smart yes or no if you are smart only then you can avoid paperwork so try to be smart try to be unique so that you can avoid paperwork if you're going to avoid paperwork then obviously you can save lot of time in examination is it clear so answer for this question is going to be four years okay so with this we are going to end the session and if you're looking for more videos you can download channel noise app from google play store if you have any doubts you can contact through these numbers and don't forget to like our video if you like this session and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you like these videos try to share these videos with as many friends as possible why means if you're going to share these videos with as many friends as possible then it is going to be a boost up for us encouragement for us and we are going to come across with best unique contents which are going to be helpful for us that is the reason i request each and every student to Try to share these videos with as many friends as possible. Try to share in Facebook groups, WhatsApp group, Telegram group. Try to share with maximum person so that it is going to be helpful for us and we are going to come across with more and more unique techniques which are going to be helpful for you in examination.